In this video, we want to prove that it is mathematically impossible for a piano to be in tune. And by in tune, we mean, at the very least, that each octave has the frequency ratio of 2 to 1, and that each perfect fifth has the frequency ratio of 3 to 2. So, if we wanted to tune this piano, we would have to start somewhere. Let's start with the lowest C of the piano. Now this key here, or rather the string that it sets into motion, vibrates with some frequency. Let's just call that frequency C. Then the key exactly an octave above that would have to have the frequency 2C and the one exactly above that would have to be 4c, right, since they all have the ratio of 2 to 1. So let's write that as 2 squared c. This would be 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th, and 2 to the 7th. So that by the time we write, reached the highest c of the piano, we would have reached the frequency 2 to the 7th c. Or c is just the frequency of the lowest C on the piano. Now if we wanted to continue tuning this piano by now tuning the perfect fifths, then we could again take this C as our point of reference. We would then tune the note of perfect fifth above that, which would be this key here, and that would have the frequency 3 halves C, right? because the frequency ratio is 3 halves then the perfect fifth above that would be 9 fourths, but let's write that as a power. So that would be 3 halves squared times C. The perfect fifth above that would be to the third power, to the fourth, to the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. So that by the time we reached the highest C on the piano, we would have reached the frequency 3 halves to the 12th times C. Now if the piano is going to be in tune, these two values better be the same since they are referring to the same key. Let's see if that can be the case. So assume for a moment that it is indeed the case that 2 to the 7th C is equal to 3 halves to the twelfth power C. Then we can conclude that if we divide through by C and rearrange the fraction a little bit, we have 2 to the seventh being equal to 3 to the twelfth divided by 2 to the 12th. And that itself would imply, if we multiply through by 2 to the 12th, that 2 to the 7th times 2 to the 12th would be equal to 3 to the 12th. Now, can that be the case? In other words, can it be the case that some even number, because 2 to the, what, what is it, the 19th, 2 to the 19th power is definitely going to be some even number, is going to be equal to some odd number, since 3 to any power will always be an odd number. That, of course, cannot be the case. We have a contradiction, and we can conclude that indeed 2 to the 7th C is not equal to 3 halves to the 12th power C. And as it turns out, 2 to the 7th C is equal to 128 
C and 3 halves to the 12th C is approximately 129.75 C. So you see the uh, discrepancy here, which shows us that it is indeed mathematically impossible for a piano to be in tune if we assume that every octave has the frequency ratio 2 to 1 and every perfect fifth has the frequency ratio 3 halves.